What is up guys, welcome to another live today. We are doing metagame of the month and uh, this should be qu kind of interesting because we are doing inheritance. What this is, is basically all of these Pokemon that are on our team right now are using movesets of different Pokemon uh, and abilities as well. So Alakazam is Tapu Lele with Psychic Surge, Psychic Psyshock, Shadow Ball, and Focus Blast. Focus Sash is just in case I get um, like Dragon Dance swept. Uh, I have a backup answer, it's an emergency button. We have Galispot over here, which is Skarmory, which is actually bulkier than Skarmory, actually. It has a little bit more HP, uh, and a little bit more Spadef as well, so this is quite nice. Uh, Stealth Rocks and Spikes, nice hazard stack with X Scissor and Roost. Uh, then we have Heatran here, which is um, Torkoal with Drought, Heat Rock. Um, I'm actually going to change this Heat Rock to, uh, what is it called? Uh, Whiter because I'm not using a Chlorophyll Sweeper anymore. I was initially using Cacturn. Um, but now we have White Herb, uh, Shell Smash, Earthquake, Solar Beam, and Fire Blast. Pretty much takes care of most of the meta right now. Uh, Raikou with uh, Electros' abilities uh, and uh, ability and move set. Uh, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Grass Knot, and Flamethrower. Pretty much covers everything that it wants to hit. Uh, I might switch out Volt Switch for Hidden Power Ice. It's quite useful. We'll see, though. Uh, then we have uh, Lanner's T, which is actually Necrozma, which gets to keep its full set. Earthquake, uh, Stone Edge, Rock Polish, and Swords Dance, except it has Prism Armor, so it's able to live certain uh, Ice-type attacks like HP Ice and um, Water attacks, especially in the Sun. And then we have Feramosa, which is Mean Shao with Regenerator, Life Orb, Fake Out, U-Turn, High Jump Kick, and Stone Edge. So let's get a game. Let's see how, how well we can do with this team. I've been testing it out a little bit, making modifications along the way. See, this Snorlax right here is a problem. This is why I put on um, Faramosa instead of um, instead of Cacturn, because I wasn't able to deal with Snorlax. It's Toxic Heal. It has uh, Gliscor set with Facade, Swords Dance, or Bulk Up, um, Protect, and it's Toxic Orb. It's really hard. It's really annoying to deal with. Suicune is typically um, Quagsire with Unaware. And I don't know what Conk would be. That's interesting. Uh, let's lead off with uh, Skarmory <laughs> or Glissabod. And uh, he's Spinda. Okay, so he has uh, that, that punching move. I forget what it's called. But we're going to go for Stealth Rocks as he goes into Natu. Oh, Magic Bounce. Nice. I like that. Okay. All right. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, I'm going to go directly into... He might U-turn, but I'm going to go directly into Heat Ran here as he is going to go for a toxic attempting to toxic me that's not going to happen and then what we're going to do is we're just going to throw out a fire blast as suicune comes in which is whooper like i said before and now we can solar beam this because we are torkoal nice and torkoal over here <laughs> it's going to do a lot of damage uh it's probably not going to kill but it's going to do a hefty amount he might bring in his snorlax as well but uh, fire blast does enough to that thing for me not to be too worried and uh, we are going to get off this Solar Beam right here. It's going to do 58%. He's going to go for a Scald. Uh, he's going to leave himself in range of a Fire Blast. So I can even click Fire Blast again if I want to. Uh, which I'm going to. I'm going to risk the miss because it covers a lot of his switches as well at the same time. So we are going to knock out the Suicune. That's awesome. And uh, now I have the Conkeldur to deal with. <laughs> That's going to be a little bit annoying. But with the Suicune gone, uh, I can sweep with my Landorus potentially later. Uh, I'm going to go for an Earthquake here. As we do weaken the uh, the heat ran as he goes for an earth power, that's fine by me. Uh, now what I can do is go into my. Do I want to go into this right away, uh, or do I want to go into this? This might be better. Uh, what did we say his Celesteela was? It's um, it's Natu or Zatu with magic bounce. Okay, so all I need to do is keep um, keep Alakazam alive, and I should be fine. Let's go into uh, Raikou over here. We'll go for a Thunderbolt. We are wise glasses to boost the power. As he's going to go into his Snorlax. I'm just going to fire off a Thunderbolt. Uh, he's going to get the Toxic Poison. We're going to go for Volt Switch. And I'm going to go directly out into my... I don't want to go directly into Feramosa, so I'm going to go into this first. If he wants to set up an SD, that's fine. Uh, as he is going to go for Leech Seed, actually. Uh, wait a minute. What? You're going to tell me that... Oh, he's Breloom. Okay. I was like, Gliscor doesn't get Leech Seed. Wait a minute. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is roost up here as he goes for protect. So he's risking me getting up rocks, which are pretty good against him. Uh, I am just going to go for stealth rocks here. If he wants to switch into Celesteela, that's fine. Uh, as he does, cool. Uh, and we are going to go directly into, um, directly into Raikou. Because I can take both of these things. Stabs, Earthquake can't hit me. Um, I don't even think Zatu gets any kind of ground coverage, actually. So he probably doesn't have a ground move. 
And uh, now that I know his Snorlax is Breloom, that makes it a little bit easier to deal with. He's going to go for Toxic. That's fine. I'm just going to go for a Volt Switch here. Uh, whatever he wants to bring in is going to take a hit. It's going to be the Snorlax. And now I get to freely spam um, High Jump Kick against him. So this is nice. Let's go for it. He does have Protect, uh, but I am Regenerator, so I'm not too concerned. As we are going to go for another High Jump Kick here. He basically has to switch out. We are faster than even Mega Alakazam as well, so I'm not too concerned. He does go into Celesteela, and we miss another Hydra. Okay, great. That's awesome. That's that's just great. Um, <laughs> let me go into uh, Raikou here. And what we're going to do is we're going to Volt Switch out again. Get this out of here. Um, is he going to go for Protect? That's fine. Okay, so he's just a Toxic Stalling set. Uh, I'm going to go for another Volt Switch. Let's see what he wants to do. Volt Switch wouldn't kill this. You should know that. Um, but he chooses to switch out anyway, and he's going to go into Snorlax. I'm now going to go into my... Landorus, as he is Leech Seed Protect. I don't really care. I'm going to go for Swords Dance regardless. And uh, if he wants to protect in my face, then he's going to let me set up for free. He is going to go for Leech Seed. That's fine. Uh, I'm actually going to go for another Swords Dance. As what is he, he going to click here? He's going to go for Toxic. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go for a an Earthquake here. He finally protects. Uh, and now I'm going to go for a Continental Crush, trying to catch the Celesteela at the very least. And then we'll deal with this another way. I don't, I'm not sure how yet, but we'll deal with it. He's going to stay in on my Continental Crush. So I think that's his Snorlax dead. Yep, it's gone. Beautiful. Awesome. Um, now either his Alakazam can come and revenge me. Um, he's going to bring in his Conkeldur. Does this thing get any priority? Does Spinda actually get any priority? It gets Sucker Punch. Okay, good to know. Uh, let's go into this. And then we are going to double um, into this because I don't have a choice. He's actually going to stay in and rock slide me. Okay. Uh, he's going to miss, though. I'm going to go for a Volt Switch. So, uh, Spinda gets some pretty interesting coverage. Um, <laughs> we're going to deal a little bit of damage to this thing. Going to go right back out into this. He's going to go for a, bol uh, a Super Power. Oh, okay. It's Contrary. Or Topsy. To I, don't, I don't know the name of it. Anyway. Uh, we're going to go for Stealth Rocks here. As he's going to go for Sucker Punch. Awesome. So, we do get up Rocks. Uh, this might end up saving us. I'm going to go for Spikes here. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for Super Power again. All right, that's fine. I'm going to go out into Alakazam now. And um, Focus Sash with no Magic Guard doesn't really help, does it? Uh, I'm going to go for Psychic. He's going to go for Sucker Punch. I am in Psychic Terrain, so goodbye. Don't have to deal with priority, so that's always nice. Uh, his Heat Ran is super low. He goes out into his Alakazam. Uh, I'm going to go for Shadow Ball. Hopefully, he's not Mega. And we Speed Tie, but he is Mega. He's going to trace my Psychic Surge, which doesn't help him much. He's going to go for Psy Shock. That actually knock knocks me out. Okay. All right, well, that's going to be game one done. Um, he played a little bit weird with the uh, with the Snorlax. I mean, I went for a second Sword Zance thinking that he would protect um, when Earthquake could have easily knocked him out, but that's all right. Um, I, I mean, I still like the team. We just missed a high jump kick. That's that's basically, that's essentially what, what killed us uh, in that game. So we have Zapdos over here. Um, what does this thing typically like to run? I know it's something with the fog as well. Can't remember what it is right now, but it's fine. We can lead off with um, with Raikou here, as he chooses to lead off with Archeops, so that's cool. Uh, problem is this thing can be scarfed, um, which I'm kind of worried about, and I don't have a response to it. I'm just gonna go for Volt Switch. He's gonna go out into his Meloetta, which is uh, Tornadus. Tornadus, what? Okay. Um, I know he's special at the very least. I'm gonna go out into. Um, Faramosa here, and we're just going to click U-turn, because it is super effective. It's going to deal a lot of damage to anything, it doesn't matter what it is. He could be Scarfed, for all I know. He's probably Regenerator, though, like AV Regenerator, which makes sense. Um, either way, I get off a U-turn here, so it's all good. Uh, if he wants to bring in his Archeops, it's getting closer to Defeatist. If he wants to bring in his uh, Tapu Fini, that's awesome. Going to get off some damage on this. Life Orb, U-turn, doesn't do too much, but... Now I can go right back out into... Uh, this is Marini. Oh god, this has Regenerator as well. Okay, uh, I'm going to go for a T-Bolt then. Onto his Meloetta. Deal a little bit more damage than Volt Switch. That does nothing. Wow. Uh, this thing is bulky as all hell. <laughs> uh, we're going to go for a... Uh, I'm going to go for another Thunderbolt. Because he shouldn't have too much to hit me with Tornadus' set. He's going to go for a U-Turn. That's fine. We keep him a little bit lower than... Um, than 100% uh, which is nice uh, but it's not getting us very far 
and he has dual re he has an amazing regenerator core over here with uh with tapu finney and and Meloetta. that's crazy um the one thing that i see that could break that is landorus he's gonna go out into his uh his pheromosa which could also be regenerator for all i know with mean shell just like mine but i am gonna go into glissopod here because it should be able to take any hit he's bond sweet hold on he's bond sweet as you can see the nicknames give away what they are um this thing also gets u-turn it's um what's it called serena right so i'm pretty safe going into glissopod he's gonna disconnect We'll see if he comes back, but in the meantime, I'm going to get another battle. Uh, if we have to play two at the same time, then we'll do it. It's not a big deal. Got another Archeops. Okay, so uh, Raikou can actually put in a lot of work against this team because he has a Ferrothorn. Uh, if he doesn't see the Flamethrower coming, that could be good. So this guy ended up coming back. Uh, he's going to go for a U-turn once again. In comes Zapdos, I would assume. Uh, as no, Kartana comes in. Okay. Um, he's going to probably go for an Anchor Shot, which does way too much to Raikou for me to switch it in anyway. Uh, I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks. Let's see what he goes for. Uh, he's going to go for Wood Hammer, actually. That's not going to take me out. And uh, we are going to get up the Stealth Rocks. He's going to get his Beast Boost off of here regardless. He's uh, top of Bulu. So uh, I don't really want to switch in Heatran because he could be Superpower as well, which I'm assuming he is. I could always go into Focus Sash uh, Alakazam. But yeah, I kind of need this regardless for his Pheromosa. Um... That did a lot, though. That's It's not resisted, but that still did a lot in grassy terrain. Um, I'm going to switch in Heat Ren. Let's see uh, what we get from this. As he is going to go for another Wood Hammer. That's going to do 32%. Going to take some recoil. I'm curious to know if he has superpower or not. Uh, but I don't feel like switching anything in. <laughs> um, I, yeah, actually, I'm going to go into Ferramosa. Because Feromosa quad resists it, so. And it's not stab. It's all good. Uh, gonna eventually have to start that game over there. He is gonna go for superpower. It's not gonna take us out, thankfully. And uh, I am just gonna go for another U turn here as he is gonna switch out into his Tapu Fini. His Kartan is weakened, though, so that's nice. And uh, this thing is also Regenerator, as we covered before. Um, I'm gonna go out into Heat Ran here because we do have the Sun up, so I'm not too worried. Uh, I can also go for a Shell Smash if I want to. Uh, which I think I actually do want to. Yeah, let's go for Shell Smash. He's going to switch out into his Meloetta, which is fantastic. We're going to go for a Fire Blast here. We have a few more turns of Sun left. And um, let's lead off with Feromosa against this guy. He's going to lead off with Ferrothorn. That's fine. Uh, he's not going to want to stay in on a high jump kick. Then again, he doesn't have a switch in a high jump kick, so I'm just going to go for it. As uh, his uh, Meloetta is actually going to take a lot from that Fire Blast, so that's nice. As he's now going to go out into Feromosa. Uh, unless this thing is scarfed, it doesn't outspeed me right now. So, um, is he scarfed though, is the question. I'm going to go for Fire Blast. He is scarfed. Okay. And he hits his high jump kicks unlike us. Um, however, however, it's looking like Landorus can put in a lot of work now. Uh, I'm going to go for a Swords Dance here. Let's see what he goes into. He does go into his Tapu Fini. That's fantastic. Uh, we do have the Prism Armor, so I'm not too scared of Surf. Uh, I'm actually going to go for a... I'm going to go for an Earthquake first. We are almost going to knock out this Tapu Fini. He's going to go for Haze. That's fine. I'm going to go for another Earthquake as he actually switches into Zapdos, which is okay too. Uh, I'm going to go for a Continental Crush here as he is going to stay in. Let's see what's going on here. He's going to switch out into his Latios. Okay, that's fine. That's going to do way too much. Um, I'm going to go out into uh, Heat Ran here. Alright, so Continental Crush is going to take out the Zapdos, luckily. He is going to go out into his Archeops. Uh, I'm not too, too concerned with this. I'm going to go for a Rock Polish, actually, as he's going to go for Head Smash. He's actually going to knock me out with that, wow. Uh, he's Rock Head, so he's probably, what, Aggron? Um, I think either way, just going into uh, this right here and going for a Volt Switch is fine. As he's going to go for a Dragon Pulse with his Latios on this game, and uh, we're going to take that just fine. I am going to go for a... I kind of want to double back, honestly, but I don't know what this thing is. Uh, well, it's, it's, oh, okay, it's got Earth Power. <laughs> it's, um, it's Nido King. So, uh, let's switch out into this, actually, as he's going to go for an Earth Power. Fantastic. We're going to take that just fine. We're going to go for a U turn. As, uh, this Archaeops is dead, thankfully, as he does stay in. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is go back into Feromosa. 
as he's going to stay in with his uh, Latios and let it die, which is great. And we're going to get some uh, Regenerator from that. And now I'm going to go into my safest play, which is Raikou. Um, his Ferrothorn does have... Uh, I, don't, I don't know what exactly what it is. It's Wingle. Okay, so it's Pelipper. In comes... Oh, God. <laughs> I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> it's Murkrow. Uh, we'll go into... Uh, into Galissapod as he goes for Rain Dance. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna get up my Stealth Rocks. This guy goes into his Feramosa. Uh, I'm gonna go directly into this because I do not want to get hit. He's gonna go for a Play Rough. Interesting. Um, that's probably not gonna take me out. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Roost as he goes out into his Kartana, which is okay. Um, he does have Wood Hammer. Hmm. I'm gonna go for a Roost. He's gonna go for uh, whatever that is. Bloom Doom. Okay. Uh, I'm going to live it just fine, and uh, we're going to keep going for Roost as he goes for another Wood Hammer. He does knock me out, but he did confirm that he is um, a Z Crystal and not Choice, so that's nice. Uh, I'm going to wait a little bit before I make my play, and then I'm going to go into Raikou. Uh, this guy's going to go into his Ferrothorn, which is fine. Uh, it's probably going to go for a Hurricane. I'm going to go for Spikes regardless as he goes out into Type L Null, which is more Lull. Type Lull. <laughs> I'm going to go for more Spikes against this thing. All right, now I'm going to go into Raikou. Let's see if he sees this coming. Uh, I'm going to go for Flamethrower. Let's see if he sees it coming. Um, does Thunderbolt take him out from here anyway? Because if it does, I'll go for it. Should I calc that? Uh, no, nah, I'm just going to go for Flamethrower. It's fine. There we go. Awesome. Kartana is dealt with. In comes Meloetta. Um, I'm just going to go for a Thunderbolt here. And we are going to get off some extra damage on this. He's going to go for a U-turn. Probably going to go out into Feramosa. There it is. And let's see what he goes for. I'm going to go for Volt Switch. He's going to go for High Jump Kick. Knock me out. Um, I'm going to now go out into... Yeah. Alakazam. Fire off a Psy Shock. As he goes out into his Meloetta. This is still going to take a decent amount. As you can see, we're going to go for a Psychic here. Knock him out. I actually misclicked that. I meant to click uh, Psy Shock. Uh, he's probably going to U-turn here. So I'm actually going to go out into this, as he does go for the U-turn, fantastic. And uh, now he's going to go out into his top of Finny. Uh, I'm going to click Fake Out on the... Oh, wait, I can't. Whoops. <laughs> and he has Recover. Great. Okay, so this is bad. Uh, I'm going to click Stone Edge here, as uh, that's going to stall out our Psychic terrain, which is actually a good thing. He's going to go for a Scald here. I'm going to go out into Alakazam. Uh, I'm going to go for a Psychic, and uh, we're not going to get a crit, unfortunately. And that is going to be GG. So that's going to be another loss. We're going to forfeit that because we know his Feramosa is scarfed. He actually went for Spore with this thing. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go for another layer of Spikes. He goes for Leech Seed. I'm not too concerned. Uh, I'm just going to keep going for Spikes, honestly. He broke my Sturdy, so this thing is a little, looking a little more threatening. Uh, he's going to go for Nature Power Try Attack. Okay. Uh, we are going to get off another layer of Spikes. And I'm going to let him put me back to sleep. I don't really care. Uh, then I'm going to switch out. He's actually going to go for Strength Sap. That's fine. We're going to go for another layer. And uh, we're going to go for a Roost or attempt to right here. And uh, he goes for a Spore. Fantastic. That's what I wanted to see. All right. So now let's um, let's go out into uh, Heat Ran here. Let's see what he does. Uh, he goes for a Nature Power Try Attack. Fantastic. And he gets Parrot. Okay. All right. That's a little annoying. But I am going to go for Fire Blast here as he misses his Leech Seed. We do connect our Fire Blast through the Para. He seems to be Eviolite. Uh, I'm just going to go for another Fire Blast on this turn as he goes for another Leech Seed. I get para Okay. Uh, I'm going to go for another Fire Blast. Let's see if we can actually connect this one. He goes for a Tri Attack. That's fine. And we get fully para again. And we're going to go for another Fire Blast. <sighs> Man. Can you not kill me? Thank you. And we get fully parried three turns in a row. Fantastic. Okay. So now we go into uh, into Feramosa. And I think we just click high jump kick, honestly. He doesn't have protect, so yeah. He doesn't have a switch into this. That's why he kept in his Latios earlier. So he's going to go into his Umbreon. This is going to get destroyed. Uh, if we could connect, which we do not. And I'm going to go for a U-turn. Actually, no, I'm going to switch this thing out uh, into into Raikou, because I don't want to take the Life Orb hit, obviously. Uh, I want to keep this thing alive, because it's actually quite valuable. As uh, He's going to go for a Rain Dance, that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Volt Switch here. There's no reason not to, as he's going to bring in his Ferrothorn, fantastic. 
Uh, we're gonna get off a volt on that and this thing is wingle uh, which means it has water coverage um, either way I'm going into this uh, and I'm just going for a high jump kick again and that should be fine Man, this is a tough, uh, there's so many creative things you can do, it's tough to, to create a meta with this. As he's gonna go back into his Umbreon. Does this thing have Bright Powder? Okay, good. <laughs> Goodbye. And, uh, he does not have a good switch into this, at all. Like, there's nothing on his team that wants to deal with this right now. And I'm gonna switch out against Archeops, there's no way I'm staying in. There's no way I'm staying in. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, we will go into, we'll sack off, um... Melissa bot at this point as he goes for a head smash misses unfortunately I don't think that really mattered because I'm asleep and he's just gonna hit the next one anyway uh, he does take recoil and he is defeatist uh, no we don't know that he's defeatist this is actually one of the probably uh, probably one of the best mons to use with uh, like switching out its ability because defeatist is is pretty bad but other than that it's like you can manage um, I'm gonna go for T-Bolt here we are gonna knock out the relicanth why? <laughs> I should be reading the names. <laughs> That's very important. There's Wingle again. Uh, we're going to go for Flamethrower and knock this thing out. Because it's still quad weak to it. So I don't care that Rain is up. This thing is gone. Goodbye. And uh, both of his remaining mons come in on quite a few hazards. So Our hazard stack looks like it's finally going to work. Finally. Um, I have Z Hypnosis to worry about. But I still have my Sash Alakazam with Psyshock in the back. So it's not too big a deal. Uh, in comes Morlul again. We are going to go for a Volt Switch. As, uh, let's see what he goes for. Um, I'm going to go out into um, Landorus here. As he goes for a Strength Zap, that's fine. Uh, he gets back all his health, but I can go for a Sword Stance. So, that's not that bad. As he goes for Leech Seed, misses. Uh, I am just going to keep going for Sword Stance. We are faster than uh, this thing. He does go for Spore, that's fine. Uh, and he can continually strength zap me. I don't really care. He does stay in and go for another strength zap. That's fine. As soon as I get off this this last swords dance, like this thing is gone. It's over. As he just goes for a leech seed, we are gonna go for another swords dance. Uh, actually, he's probably gonna predict the wake this turn, so I'm actually gonna go for EQ. As no, we stay asleep and he keeps going for strength zap. Okay, I'm gonna go for another swords dance then. He got max sleep, I think. Yeah, that was max sleep. We are going to go for SD here, as he goes for another Strength Zap, that's fine. Uh, we are going to go for Earthquake this time, and uh, deal a lot of damage to this thing, as he's going to go for another Spore, and uh, this thing is stalling me out, sort of, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, I'm going to switch out into Raikou here, as he goes for a Strength Zap, that's fine. Uh, it gets back most of his health. This thing is quite annoying, though, I have to say, but it will eventually run out of moves, <laughs> like... It's just, it's PP stalling itself, basically. Uh, let's go for T-Bolt. As he takes 19, which is virtually nothing, he's going to go for a Leech Seed, that's fine. I am going to go for Volt Switch here. I just have to keep my Sash intact, just in case this thing is E-Hypnosis, and we should be fine. As long as I don't switch Pheromosa in directly on a Tri-Attack, I should be okay. As he does go for Tri-Attack. Okay, so that's us dead. That's unfortunate. Um, but I am going to go back into uh, Necrozma <laughs> over here. And uh, we're going to attempt to go for a Swords Dance. As he's probably just going to go for a Strength Zap. As there it is, yep. And I'm going to attempt to go for another Swords Dance once again. We're just, like, falling asleep forever with this thing. Uh, I think that might have been the first turn, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. He went for Spore. Uh, and then I... No, no, I killed off a turn, I think. Uh, no, this is the Spore. And then I switched out directly. Okay, yeah. So... Um... I'm going to go into Raikou, actually. Because then he'll have to, like, continuously Leech Seed to beat me. Yeah, this thing is really annoying. <laughs> and he's going to go for a another Spore, predicting my wake. Alright, well, uh, I'm going to go for a T-Bolt. Weaken this thing a little bit. No para. He's going to go for Leech Seed, that's fine. We're going to go for Volt Switch. And we'll go directly back into Landorus. Let's see, he does go for the try attack that does 33%. Alright, I have to EQ this turn then. I don't have a choice. Um, yeah, I have to Earthquake. He's probably just gonna Strength Sap again, get back all his health. Uh, or what I can do, because this thing has no attack. This thing beats him, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, I just need to wake up here. 
Please, Landorus, wake up. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> um, and if I wake up, shouldn't I go for a Swords Dance then? Yeah, let's go for SD. All right, he disconnects. Great, another one. What is going on? I'm going to pause it, guys. Be right back. All right, he's back, and he went for a Leech Seed as I stayed asleep. And uh, we are going to go for an Earthquake. Uh, yep, we're going to go for Earthquake. And we stay asleep again. Great. Awesome. So, max sleep, both rounds. Fantastic. Uh, we're now going to go out into uh, into this. And I think I'm just going to start spamming Psychic because Leech Seed will affect me. But, okay, yeah, let's go for Psychic. It's going to do 31. Wow, that's nothing. He goes for Spore. I'm going to go for Psy Shock. Strength Sap is not going to give him back that much health. Uh, because we have very low attack. He's going to go for Leech Seed, knowing that we don't have Magic Guard, of course. Uh, let's go for a Psy Shock. Let's hope we can wake up. Please, can I get a one turn? No, I can't get a one turn sleep. Okay. He's going to go for Nature Power, get Psychic, which doesn't affect me too much. Uh, we are going to go for a Psy Shock here. I'm hoping it does more than Psychic, but I doubt it. Um, I see he's just going to go for another Spore. I get Max three times in a row. Three times in a row. Come on, game. There we go. Psy Shock goes off. He's going to go for another Spore. And uh, I pretty much lose at this point. But yeah. So this thing stalled me out as I switched it out. Okay, he goes for a Strength Sap. I'm going to go for a Focus Blast Crit. Like, that's that's all I can do is go for a Focus Blast Crit. And I stay asleep again. All right, great. Awesome. Thanks. Let's get one more, guys. So I got max sleep. Uh, almost four times in a row. I played this guy before. I know all his sets. So, uh, this is actually not a bad matchup for me at all. Um, Raikou does work to him. Uh, he's Quiver Gengar. So, and, uh, he's Zygarde as his Aerodactyl. This is Motham. This is Aerodactyl. Uh, this is, uh, Zygarde, excuse me. Um, this is Solosis. So, it's Magic Guard. Uh, Skarmory, I can't remember what it is. But... Uh, let's lead off with Raikou because it's the best lead against his team. Except against Arrow. Uh, Azelia does lead off with the Arrow once again. And uh, I'm going to switch out directly into... Uh, okay, he chooses to go into Chansey. Interesting. Um, I'm going to go for the Stealth Rocks as he goes for a Toxic. That's fine. I'm going to go for Spikes, actually, as he brings in... Okay, this, this is Faramosa with Rapid Spin, by the way, guys. Uh, that's what his Skarmory is. So I'm going to go directly out into Raikou, as he's going to go for Rapid Spin. That's fine. We're going to Volt Switch out. He's probably going to go into Chansey. And I'm going to go out into Feromosa this time, and we're going to go for a U-Turn. Last time I didn't have Feromosa, I only had Cacturn. So this is a huge threat to him. He's going to go out into his Skarmory uh, for some reason, and we are going to go right back out into Raikou. And we will continue this until he decides to cave. So we will damage that, and this time I'm going for a high jump kick. Um, yeah, no, it's fine. Even if he goes into Gengar, I have regenerator, so it doesn't matter that I lose half my health. As he is going to go out into Gengar, okay. Uh, I'm going to go for a stone edge on this, as that's almost going to kill him. Almost, keyword. Um, and he has black sludge for some reason. Okay. Well, I do have a focus sash on my Alakazam, so I'm not too worried. Uh, what I'm going to do is go into uh, this guy over here, as he's going to go for Shadow Ball. He is going to two-hit KO us. It's fine. I'm just going to go into Zam after and knock him out with our Focus Sash. Here we go. He, uh, I was Mega Zam before, so he thinks that I'm Mega Zam. So he's going to let this go down, which is awesome. Goodbye. So that's one threat down. And uh, now the problem is his Aerodactyl kind of destroys me. <laughs> Um, but I do have Feromosa that's faster, so that's good news. Uh, I can spam High Jump Kick against his team soon. As he does go into Arrow. Um, my Focus Sash is broken. I do not have a response to this. He is going to go for 1,000 Arrows more than likely. It's going to do a lot to, to Lando, so definitely not uh, switching into it. So we will just go for a Psychic here, unfortunately. And he is going to go for 1,000 Arrows. That's fine. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to go into Lando. He knows that I have uh, Stone Edge and Continental, uh, and Continental Crush. We've played enough for him to know that. So I'm going to go for Stone Edge as he's going to switch out into his uh, Feromosa, which is Skarmory. Um, and I'm going to go for a Swords Dance now as he chooses to go for a U-Turn, which is fine. 
Um, nothing on his team knocks me out directly. Kartana is far-fetched. What did this thing have again? Um, I know it had wood hammer, I believe. Uh, it didn't have any fighting coverage, if I recall correctly. Okay, we're going to go into uh, Heat Ren because Heat Ren doesn't do much. Let's see what he goes for. He's going to use up a Z item. He's going to go for Corkscrew Crash. That's awesome. And uh, we're just going to go for Fire Blast as he switches in his Chansey. Understandable, as that's going to take a nice 26%. And then we are going to go for a switch out into Landorus as he goes for a Recover. That's fine. Uh, what steel moves does Farfetch get? Um, I have it open over here. There we go. Farfetch gets uh, Steel Wing or Iron Tail. Okay, it gets Iron Tail. So that's what he's rocking. All right, let's go for SD. As he chooses to stay in and go for a Toxic, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go for another SD. And he's going to switch in his Skarmory. Fantastic. And now we're going to go for Continental Crush and get a knockout. Uh, at least we should on this thing. We are plus four. This is a very powerful rock move. So there goes that. Beautiful. Uh, and now there are no switch-ins to Feramosa anymore at all uh, on his team. He could go for the Iron Tail with, uh, with this thing. Um, his Chansey is a full health. His Tapu Koko comes in. And this thing is EV with uh, Hyper Voice. Adaptability Hyper Voice, I believe. As he does go for it, that's going to do nothing. And we are going to go for the Shell Smash right here. As he goes out into Chansey. And now we're going to start Fire Blasting this thing. He's probably going to recover spam. That's fine. Uh, we are going to get a crit on the first one. So that's nice. Uh, I'm going to go for another one. As we do not get a crit on that one. But it's a very a much higher roll. And uh, we're just going to keep spamming uh, Fire Blast as he goes for Recover again. That's fine. I'm going to go for another Fire Blast as, let's see what he does. He does go for another Recover. I'm going to start spamming Earthquake. Uh, it does a decent amount at 28%. He's just going to keep going for Recover. That's okay. He can't really do anything to me other than Nightshade, which is what he has, by the way. Um, and I'm going to switch out directly into this and threaten him. And uh, we're going to go for a High Jump Kick here because there's nothing he can switch in. And goodbye, Chansey. Awesome. All right, so we don't have the ba the beast boost. The base boost? <laughs> what was that? Um, he's going to bring in his Aerodactyl. I'm going to go for a U-turn here. Stone Edge might be better, though, because I'm going to have to knock this thing out one way or another with this, right? So let's go for Edge. We do connect. We do knock out his Aerodactyl. That's fantastic. As, uh, let's see what he brings in. He does bring in this, and I am going to go for a high jump kick. Hopefully, we connect. Uh, and if we do, actually, I didn't need to risk that, but anyway, because uh, I have Raikou in the back with Flamethrower. He is going to bring in his Tapu Koko. I am going to go for a U turn, and that's going to damage this thing immensely. Uh, then we're going to sack off Heat Ran, essentially, right here, as he does go for the Psy Shock. Uh, that's almost not a 2 hit KO. <laughs> He's going to go for a Shadow Ball. Okay, that's fine. As I'm going to go back into Mean Shao. Uh, <laughs> mean Shao. Faramosa. We're going to go for a Fake Out. Damage him. He's going to get flinched. And then we're going to go for a U-Turn again. Leave him at 4%. And then we are going to go out into uh, Lanaris. Sack it off to his Hyper Voice. And then just Fake him out and win the game. So finally we get a win. And I'm actually going to get one more. Even though this is going to be a longer live. Just because I really want to uh, get two wins. I don't want to finish it off with that bad max sleep turn game from before uh hoopa's looking quite threatening so is pincer pincer can get e-speed with lucario adaptability as well um which is kind of scary so let's lead off here with um i'm gonna lead off with uh yeah okay so that worked out he's wingle as well so he gets up rain for me which is cool um his switch-ins to electric type attacks are very limited. So I'm just going to throw out a T-Bolt here. Does that take 65%? He's going to go for a Hydro Pump. Almost knocked me out, but not enough. Uh, and we're going to go for a Volt Switch here as he brings it in his Hoopa, which is cool. As I'll be able to get off a, uh, a Volt Switch and go out into this and go for a U-Turn uh, and get some more damage off on something. So even if he's Scarfed, I don't believe he outspeeds me. That's a dead Hoopa. Beautiful. And uh, now we're going to go back into... Um, yeah, we're going to go back into Raikou because if he brings in his Feramosa, which is the only real threat to Raikou at this point, um, I can go into Galissapod and eat up any hit. 
Uh, other than a T-Bolt, which would be a little... Okay, he's Kecleon. Yeah, he has T-Bolt. Guaranteed. So that's a little bit scary. Um, this is too valuable, I think, to let go. So I am going to go directly into Galissapod regardless, as he's going to go for an Ice Beam. So that works out, uh, as we're able to take that quite nicely. He is also Life Orb, so I can play around this thing a little bit. Let's go into Landorus, because I want to see if he has T-Bolt. He does have T-Bolt. Awesome, okay. And he doesn't know if I'm Scarfed or not. So this is actually scary, probably, for him. Um, he probably knows that I'm not Scarfed, though. Let's be real. Uh, <laughs> let's go into... He has a fighting move on this set, for sure. I'm going to switch back out into Galissapod, as he's going to go for an Ice Beam again. He's going to turn himself back into an Ice type. And now I'm going to... Go for Stealth Rocks. He goes for Shadow Ball. I don't think that's going to take me out. No, it does. Okay. All right. That's fine. Uh, what we can do now is we can go into Alakazam, uh, burn our Sash, I believe, and knock this thing out. Um, yeah, Shadow Ball, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt. He has to have a fighting move. It doesn't make any sense if he doesn't. Okay. We're going to go into, uh, into Alakazam. We're going to fire off a Shadow Ball because he's more than likely going to fire off a Shadow Ball of his own. He's going to get a crit. That doesn't matter at all. He's still a ghost type and we will knock him out with this Shadow Ball. Awesome. All right. In comes Tapu Koko. Threat. Big threat. <laughs> um, Geodude. Okay. So it's that, um, which means it might have Earthquake as well. <laughs> That's kind of scary. Uh, we'll go into Landorus. And uh, he's going to go for a return. That's not going to affect us, thanks to Galvanize. Uh, we will go for a Rock Polish here, as he goes for a Stone Edge. That's not going to matter. Uh, and we will go for a Swords Dance on this turn. And now I think we knock everything out. He misses another Stone Edge. Okay, that does matter, because he might have put me in Pincer Range. Uh, but we are going to knock this out. Um, if he goes into Kartana, I'm just attacking it. If he goes into Pincer, I'm going for a Continental Crush, because I don't want to miss on this thing. He is going to go for an E-Speed. That's going to do a lot, but we are going to knock out the Pincer as a result. And uh, then he's going to bring in his Kartana. I'm just going to go for an Earthquake. Uh, that's going to knock it out. And we should have this win no problem because we do have Fake Out in the back. So let's go for Stone Edge and we do connect it. And down goes the Thunderous. So that was actually quite quick. We're going to make it a, a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer, guys. Bear with me. Uh, we get the... No, not the same guy, but he's rocking a lot of the same stuff. Um, so I don't know what Marowak runs in this tier. Um, let's lead off with Feramosa because I, I don't feel pressured at all um, by anything on his team with Feramosa except for Pinsir, as he is going to lead off with Marowak, okay. Um, I could go for Stone Edge, it's a Life Orb Stone Edge, but uh, I'm going to play it safe and just go for a U-turn, because that does nothing, so he's very defensive. Uh, we're going to go out into Glissopod here, he's Victini by the way. Um, and I should have seen that. I should have checked that before I, I went for a switch out into this. Uh, but now we're going to go out into Heatran as he is going to go for a Bolt Strike this time. Okay. Uh, good play, I guess. Uh, right, we don't have Flash Fire. That's that's a problem. Um, I'm going to go for Earthquake. Let's see what he does. He does stay in. Uh, he takes that re relatively well, actually. All right, that's fine. Uh, now what I can do, since he doesn't have... Um, since he doesn't have Lightning Rod, I can go into this and just go for Thunderbolt. And nothing on his team is really going to want to take it, except for maybe Tapu Koko. Um, I kind of want to keep my Galissapod around. So, yeah, let's do that. I really got to start looking at names. That's the thing. That's what I'm, like, not focusing on right now, is the names of, of Mons. I hope he goes into, like, Suicune. Just lets it die. Levitate. Yes, levitate. <laughs> so you can't hit me with ground moves. Um, which is actually pretty good against uh, Pinsir. Like, if it wants to be Lucario with Earthquake, it's pretty nice. Um, Hoopa's looking threatening, but at the same time, I have a Feramosa. I think Feramosa just, like, destroys his entire team. Um, in comes Tapu Koko on a Balloon, and it's Magirna. Hmm. Huh. That's interesting. Alright. Um, which means it might have Ice Beam. I'm going to go for a Volt Switch. Let's see what he has. He has Floor Cannon. Okay, we take that just fine. Uh, we are going to pop his Balloon. And because I have Prism Armor, and he is at minus two, and Tapu Koko is not that strong, uh, I'm going to go into Landorus, and I'm just going to go for Earthquake as he goes out into Suicune. Okay, cool. So this is going to take a nice chunk. Um, it does have Unaware. I'm going to go out into uh, Galissapod and get its health back. I think that's a priority right now. 
Uh, he could have Toxic, that's fine. I'm not too concerned with that. Um, what I am concerned with is how I'm going to beat this thing. <laughs> the only way is Raikou at the moment. Uh, Solar Beam is, is one of the things that normally deals with this pretty well. But um, I am going to go out into Galissapod here. I'll start the timer on this man because he's taking quite a while to decide what he wants to do with his Suicune in front of a Landorus. It shouldn't be that tough. Uh, it's either you, you Scald or you Toxic, man. Make your pick. But uh, if he does Toxic, then I should be fine to recover up with, uh, or even get up Stealth Rocks. I think Stealth Rocks are going to be more important uh, this game because they're going to wear down the Suicune. They're going to wear down the Pinsir especially. He's going to go for a Scald. It's going to do 13. He does not get a burn, luckily, and we do have leftovers. Uh, so I'm actually going to go for a Roost right here as he goes for another Scald. Uh, does he get the burn? No, he, is, he does not, and we are healed up. I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks as he goes for Stockpile. Uh, that's a little bit of an issue, though. Uh, I definitely do not like that at all. Um, let's go into Raikou, and we'll start spamming electric moves. Uh, he does have Unaware, but man, this is an annoying set. <sighs> Damn. Um, those rocks are really going to help, though, like big time, in general. As long as I can get rid of this Suicune somehow, as long as he doesn't like kill me off with Scald. Um, he is going to go for Scald on my Raikou, and he's going to crit it. He does not burn me. Uh, and I'm just going to go for a T-Bolt. Uh, I really don't care. I'm just going to get off as much damage as I can on this. He's going to go for a Scald. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to go into Feramosa. I'm going to Fake Out. I'm going to see how much it does. Probably not too much, even though it's Life Orb. Uh, it does 7%, so about as much as his leftovers. Um, and he also has access to Recover, which is really annoying. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, I'm going to go for a High Jump Kick here. And do a decent amount of damage to this, as he does go for another Stockpile. If I could just crit right here, that would be amazing. Um, yeah, <laughs> that would be really, really good if I could crit this. Because I know he has recover back there. I could go for U-turn into Zam and start spamming Psychic, but he also has a, def a special defense boost. So that's not going to help. This thing is a monster. This thing is actually a monster. I do not get a crit, unfortunately. And he's just going to go for Scald, though. Okay, good. Awesome. Okay, let's go into... Alakazam, just fire off a Psychic, get this thing out of here right now, and <clears throat> if he goes into Feramosa, I'll go into Glissopod first. I won't stay in, because if he U-turns, then... Uh, okay, he's Kecleon, though, so he probably he doesn't have a U-turn. So do I knock this thing out now? And I think the answer is yes. Yes, I do. Um, yeah, let's go for Psychic. Nice! Oh, wait, no, he's a Dark-type. Damn. Um, but he has to attack me with a different type of move, so we'll go for Psychic anyway. That was a good play, I guess. <laughs> Turning himself into a Dark type, knowing that I would be... He might think I'm choice. He might think I'm choice. Either way, he's going to turn himself into an Electric type. We do have the Focus Sash. He does get the Para. Does he get the full Para? No, he does not. And down goes the Feramosa. Okay, cool. So we're okay. Um, this is an issue. This thing is definitely an issue. Because it's about to get a boost off of me one way or another. Alright, I'm going to go into Galissapod. He goes to the Aura Sphere, so that's good. We resist that. And I'm assuming he's going to go for Fleur Cannon now. So I'm going to sack off my Alakazam to his Fleur Cannon. As he actually goes for T-Bolt. Okay, so that's annoying. Um, I have to force him into going for Fleur Cannon. Essentially. Before I can set this up. Or else I'm going to lose. Um, let's see what he goes for. He does go for Floor Cannon. Okay. So now I just need him to miss a Floor Cannon, <laughs> essentially. Um, I think we have to Rock Polish regardless because his Pinsir is faster than us. So let's go for that. As uh, Actually, if I'm playing off a miss, if my play is off of a miss and his Pinsir... No, because it can still go for another attack. Yeah, okay. We'll go for Rock Polish. He goes for Floor Cannon. It doesn't kill, actually. Which I'm, uh, well, I mean, it's it's a top of Coco. It's not that strong. Um, again. So let's go for Earthquake here. Let's knock this thing out. He has E Speed, though. He's going to knock me out anyway. Uh, there's Riolu. Yep. And uh, we'll go for Continental Crush just for the lulls. Uh, but he does uh, E Speed me and knock me out. So that's going to be a few losses, to say the least, and a couple of wins. Uh, but that was uh, pretty fun. Uh, if you guys have any team suggestions for this, if you have any set suggestions, definitely go check out the thread. It's right here uh, on Smogon. If you go to uh, to forums, simulator play, competitive discussion, 
uh, and other metagames. So in under competitive discussion, other metagames, you're going to find inheritance. And uh, this is where you have all the details as to what's banned, what you can't inherit. Like Arena Trap would be too ridiculous. Um, assist plus Prankster. A speed boost all of those things are banned so definitely go check that out before you make any suggestions but i would love to hear what you guys think uh of the tier uh if you don't like it then uh just let me know <laughs> i won't play it anymore um because i'm not a huge fan of it but i definitely wanted to try it out anyway uh that's gonna wrap it up if you did enjoy guys make sure to also leave a like down below subscribe if you haven't already and i will catch you guys later ciao